Hello and good morning to all of you. This is Engineer Amanullah. Today's topic is what are important things to do before starting a project. Before starting a project in Primavera, you have to set certain things. Otherwise, it will make problem later on in project. First of all, you have to set time, then you have to set uh, currency, and then you have to set calendars. For setting time and currency, you have to go to edit, then user preferences. In user preferences, you can set both of these. For calendars, you have to go to enterprise, uh, admin, sorry, enterprise, then calendar. From uh, here, you can check, uh, you can make a new calendar and you can uh, edit existing calendars. So first we will go to user preferences. Here uh, it's time units. Uh, if your company is paying in hours, uh, you, you should make it hours. Uh, and if your company is paying in days, you should make it days. My company is paying in days, so I will make it day. Uh, decimal points I recommend two, or you can make it zero also. I don't want to uh, see levels here, so I will uncheck this box. Duration format is also, I don't want to see levels, so I will uncheck this. Here, uh, this uh, date format, I want my date in this format, day, then month, then year. Then currency. I have set Pakistani rupee my currency because my company is paying in Pakistani rupee but if your company is paying in any other currency you can change it from here and if that currency is not existing here you can define a new currency from admin then currencies from here you can define a new currency also for example here I want to define Afghani Afghani rupees, I think in Afghanistan currency is rupee. Afghani rupee. I will make symbol of this one AFG. And let's say one Afghani rupee is equal to $50 or exchange rate is 50. Now I will come back to user preferences currency and I can assign here Afghani rupee. Then there is assistance. You should uncheck both these wizard because it will say, uh, save uh, much of uh, your time in defining activities and resources. So this is about time and uh, currency, then I will come to calendar, enterprise, then in enterprise calendar, I want to make a new calendar here, by the way there are three types of calendar, global calendar, resource calendar and project calendar. If you define a global calendar change will be taken by the enterprise and if you define a resource calendar resources will take it and project calendar same. So I will define a new calendar I want this format to be copied here name it my new calendar By checking this box, uh, if you define a new project, that project will take this calendar. So I will mo modify this calendar according to my needs. Now this calendar, as per standard, this calendar is uh, 5 days per week and 8 hours per day. So first thing I will do, I will make it 12 hours per, per day. 12 hours per day may make this calculation if it is working 12 hours per day then per week it will work 72 hours uh, then there are 26 days in a month 
per month it will work 3 12 hours and there are uh, 12 months in a year so it will work 3744 hours in a year I will change this one accordingly 72 hours then 12 hours uh, 3 12 hours 312 hours and 3744 hours per year 300 7 3744 hours per year now this uh, detail work hours i want from 12 to 1 hour 12 to 1 p.m. this will be lunch break then I will make it work weeks Saturday this one is off I want to make it a working day So you can see from here Saturday is now working day you can also define public holidays also and you can add north to these holidays so this calendar is defined now care must be taken in defining calendar and changing calendar after you have uh, assigned a calendar to an activity because many times it occurs that when you change calendar all your durations uh, are changed this is because now my calendar is uh, working 12 hours per day and let's say I define a new project this one is my new project I define an activity here which is working one day and schedule it now calendar to this assigned to this activity is uh, uh, my new calendar in my new calendar people are working 12 hours per day it means in one uh, if duration is one day this man is working for uh, 12 hours now if I change my calendar to 8 hours per day they will work on day 1 8 hours and remaining 4 hours they will work uh, yeah, on day 2 uh, let's change calendar let's change this calendar to uh, I have defined this calendar for 13 hours so, so on day 2 they will work for uh, for 5 hours I change it uh, to 8 hours or I change this calendar so when I change my calendar from 12 hours to 8 hours uh, duration also changed and in this calendar it is working one hour uh, one day and when I change my calendar to this one it is working to in uh, it is, original duration is two days the reason behind this one is uh, before activity was defined for 12 hours now when calendar changed to 8 hours per day and day 1 they work uh, for 8 hours and on day 2 they will work for 4 hours so care must be taken in defining and assigning calendars otherwise 
if there is a big uh, schedule then a mess up will be created uh, and it is very very hard to clear that issue so this is all for today in next video we will discuss how to define a project how to define a wbs and how to define activities uh, what are wbs is what are activities and what are type of activities all this we will discuss in next video inshallah thank you